Hi, welcome to Design Space Friday. I saw this really pretty um, Mickey with the word love, and I just kind of fell in love with it. So I decided to try to um, recreate it myself, and it turned out okay. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the way I usually make Mickeys is start out with a circle. And since we're going to make a frame circle, we'll bring in a second one. We will size the first circle just to an even number so that it'll make it easier um, for me to size out the uh, size out the pieces that I want. So we're going to shift. See, I've got both of them selected. So then we can do um, the align and center them. And then we can just go right down and slice. All right, and then we'll bring out the part we don't need. And of course, I cut out the wrong piece. Okay, let's undo that again. All right, we'll move that one. There we go. All right, so now we have the uh, frame. So now we will do um, duplicate that just one time so that we can do the ears and we're going to make it a little bit smaller and this time i'm going to i think i'm going to leave it round instead of doing the oval just to kind of give it a different look so let's put that over here so i can put one here and then we'll duplicate that again and i'll move it over here you can see because i made them smaller the frame section became smaller now what I want to make sure is when I'm touching, I don't want you to see the other circle through it. Let's see. Let's see if we like it a little bit closer. Let's make this a little smaller too. Maybe I have it too big. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now what we want to do is select each one of those so that we can go ahead and weld that together. Great. So once it's welded, we'll bring in another shape, which is the square, so that we can slice out a section of the Mickey. And this one slice out just a little bit less than what I did on the last one. So we'll select that, and this time we'll slice. Delete out the parts we don't want. There we are. Now we have that ready. Now what we're going to look for is the text that we want to use, the font. Um, the font that I use for that one is a close to my heart font that I had on my computer. Um, they used to have a um, font disk and um, it came over when we did the um, when I did the uh, that I did. Of course, my brain went dead for a minute. When um, it came over with Design Space, because Design Space will use whatever font that's on your computer. I can't do two things at once while I'm sitting here trying to find a font. Oh, I think we're going to use this one. That is one of the ones from uh, one of the other close to my heart. Uh, oh, yeah, I like that one. Now, what we're going to do is we'll move it up here a little bit, and I'm going to, I want to get it closer together. So we're going to use the um, letter spacing, and we are going to make it smaller. And that will start moving the letters closer together because we want to weld them. Let's see if they'll move without, that looks good, right there. So let's weld it and see if they weld well. It did, very good. All right, now what we'll do is... I want that to come here. Make it big. I might curve this one just a little. I did not curve the other. I want to kind of have it um, slide in to the. There we go. I think that'll work. All right. And we'll do a shift, select all of that, and let's weld and see what we have. I think that's not too bad. It hangs over a little bit, but you know, um, if I wanted to, I could bring in something to slice that out, but I, I think I kind of like that. So 
as you can see you can do them in any way that you want it's just a matter of using circles or ovals and then just welding and putting a word in there i hope you um enjoyed this um week's um friday the science space friday and i'll see you next week <laughs>